Let me tell you about what my personality is and how far off you are. Okay. A long time ago, before I met Betty, I went on a date. Okay. With a 10. No, we don't call women by numbers anymore. What do we call them? She was, I thought she was beautiful. Who is Why it? Why do I call them by numbers? Because it's kind of objectifying. So then what do I call you if I can't call you a three? You can call me a three. <laughs> okay. Um, and I was being sarcastic or ironic, I guess I was being, I was being confident guy. But I guess we can't really have those on this show because I don't understand them. Yeah. Or we can, I just won't get them. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. So I was on a date with a girl and we went to the movies because I love going to the movies. And I... How are you holding up? Horribly. <laughs> <laughs> But I buy, here's, I'm outing myself here, but yes, I'm in this business, but I still do it a lot of times because I buy a lot of snacks. I buy child's tickets. I buy child's tickets. And instead of, at, when you're going into a, 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 like a, a, an IMAX or Adobe Digital, instead of spending $22, I'm spending $18 and I'm okay with it. I bought two child's tickets. Instincts, it's what I do. And then it's like, I've never met this girl. We met there, we walked around, we're going into a movie. And I had to tell her before we went in, I said, listen, I have two child's tickets. I wanna let you know that if we come there and there's an issue, I don't want you thrown off. I'll go, I'll say, you got me, and I'll go upgrade it to an adult ticket. But I just wanna let you know now, if that doesn't work for you, I'll change your ticket, but you gotta tell me now. And you know what she said? What? That's so gross. What? You don't know what I was doing. What were you doing? She was sucking me off. That's so... No. Oh, I'm kidding, Esther. But it's I'm gross. so sorry. You're right. You can't do that anymore. It's I'm gross. I'm so sorry. Can I try again? I'm grossed out. You always have to bring up that. Could I try it again? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to, now. I, I was going to do another thing and you're really, you honestly are affected by me joking about that. Yeah. And Girls don't like that. Then get upset. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm joking. It's not. You, you didn't even let me tell you I'm buying a ticket and then you're like, no, you're lying. It was, a, you, you were afraid to do a write-off. I'm like, I'm not a fucking afraid to do a write-off and I'm doing a joke about the, a true story about getting a girl a ticket and buying her a child's ticket and then to overcompensate the fact that, oh wow, Rick's unlikable on a date. He, he, he's so cheap. I'm like, yeah, she still sucked me off. I'm joking. I thought that, I thought nothing was unlikable. I thought it was super charming up until that point. Okay. The stakes of the character that I'm explaining are, here's a guy, and by the way, here's your face when I say that I, I'm telling her that I buy, a buy, buy her a child's ticket. This is what you do. <laughs> and I don't know if you got a smell of yourself or something, but you're making the face that is, which I understand, oh, he's playing a loser character. So I juxtapose the two, yeah, maybe I'm a loser there, but she sucked my dick, and I'm <laughs> joking. She didn't suck my dick that night. Okay, so I'm joking. And Rick, why do you always do that? Because I'm a guy and I do dick suck jokes and I do fart jokes and I'm silly and I like playing like I'm a little boy. You like playing like you're a little boy, but you don't do it with personalities, you do it with style. Fuck me, man. I'm, I, you're really censoring on a podcast, me going uh, uh, uh. I, It's gross, it's pornographic. It's hypersexual. I don't joke about that stuff or f like. Yeah, and that's fine. why you need your parents to do half your special for you. <laughs>